Morning everyone, Michelle here. Today I want to tell you all about the native plant nodding onion. I'm sitting here in my hummingbird garden and right behind me here, these are some of my many, many nodding onions that I have throughout the landscape. I absolutely love nodding onions and there's one particularly important reason why I love nodding onions that I will get to later. So nodding onion, it's a perennial, it's in the lily family. Nodding onion has grass-like foliage. And what I really, really like about that in the landscape is before the bloom stalks shoot up, it looks kind of like a sedge, a taller sedge, but a sedge. And I really love that about uh, the nodding onions because it can, I don't know, maybe, uh, line a bed if really planted really close together or something like that I think it would look, would look really nice of course mass plantings of nodding onion look nodding great onion. too so the botanical name of nodding onion is Allium cernuum and the common name obviously nodding onion but there are a couple other uh, common names so one is ladies leek and the other is Allegheny onion Okay, so like I said, this guy has a beautiful grass-like foliage and then the blooms, the blooms will shoot up um, from that foliage higher than the grass-like leaves and then it'll have a little nodule on the end of it and when it gets ready to bloom, which is going to be in the July timeframe. So mine have been blooming. They are pretty much at their peak some of them are at their peak and then some of them are starting to go over. So the blooms are a cluster of flowers and they can be anywhere from white to pinkish, maybe to a little, little bit of lavender color in there. Most of mine are either white or pink and I just, they're just so pretty and so unique how they come up and then they curve over and just ha hang there. It's definitely a good ornamental plant. Okay, so here are the reasons that I grow nodding onion. First, it is ornamental. It's a pretty plant. I could put this in my front yard landscape. I actually have it in my front, the very front. I probably showed it to you before. And so I love putting it in the landscape around. I love to clump it up in groups. Um, and, and then when I, just so you know, from a design perspective, when I um, do groupings, I always do them in odd numbers unless you're doing a one-off or it's just one and it's kind of like a you know statement piece. So anyway, love having them grouped up and put around the landscape. The second reason why I like knotting onion so much is because it is on the smaller side. So many of my natives are so tall and I have to do all the Chelsea chopping and I have to do all the staking and all this other kind of stuff. I mean, that goes with a lot of plants, but for natives particularly, this is a really good short plant so that you can use more in the front of your borders. I have tons of plants that I can put in the middle and in the back of my borders, but nodding onion is definitely great because I can use it in the front. The third reason why I love nodding onion is because the pollinators love nodding onion. There are so many <laughs> bumblebees on my nodding onion all the time. I have lots of photos. Um, I'll try and get some uh, to flash up on the screen in this video, but oh man, the pollinators love this. Now this isn't going to be like your mountain mint or something like that, but you're going to see a lot of bumblebees on this plant and other pollinators as well. And the final reason why I like nodding onion so much and this was the this was the biggest reason why I like nodding onion, and I have found it to be completely 100% deer resistant. So if you watch my my channel very often, you know I have a huge problem with deer. Like I'm always trying to figure out ways to fight the deer, um, not fight the deer. That's not right. Thank you. Deter the deer. Always trying to find a way to keep them off of my plants. And uh, nodding onion is one of those plants that will just, the deer will not, oops, <laughs> the deer will not mess with. So what I have been trying to do over the years is plant my nodding onion, uh, like interplant it with some of my plants that 
the deer seem to favor. So I'm trying to use it as like a scent guard to keep them off. I'm not sure whether it's working or not. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like I kind of think it is. So I definitely think that it's um, worth it to try that um, strategy, especially if you have a smaller native that's shorter than it, uh, that maybe the deer like, that you could plant that plant around the nodding onion. So my not, I have nodding onions everywhere in my landscape, like everywhere. This, this guy takes part shade, to full sun, to dry, to moist. And I, I mean, I think I pretty much have it in every single one of those conditions. So a really good all around plant for a variety of areas. I really love those types of plants. Um, the other one, which I talk about all the time, is shrubby St. John's wort or Hypericum prolificum. Just those two are two really good plants that'll take a whole variety of conditions and they're both native. So you know I'm gonna love both of them. Okay. <laughs> So as far as propagation goes, I collect the seeds every single year. And what you do is once the blooms start to go over, they form little seeds and all those little flowers that are in the cluster and they will turn green and then they will start turning black. When they turn black, that's when you want to collect those seeds. And then in the late fall, usually usually November the first time frame, I start to do all of my seed sowing where I sow all my seeds and I just put them out for the winter for the you know snow and rain and cold to get to them. So I always, always do at least one deep cell flat of nodding onion because I just find it so useful to put everywhere. And a lot of times, I mean, you can plant out nodding onion, the, the little seedlings after a year, but what I like to do is uh, keep them for two years. They're a little easier to handle when you have kind of like a, a more mature clump of them. But still, if you wanna sow them this November and plant them out next summer, you definitely can. Just, I wanted to add the note in there that I like to hold them for an additional season in their deep cell flats, plugs, and then uh, sow them out the following spring. Okay, something else. So when I was doing some extra research on the nodding onion, a couple places say the seeds need scarification. So if you wanna do that, great. Um, you could even try soaking the seeds overnight, just kind of do an experiment. I've never done either of those and mine germinate so well. So just, you know, my experience. And then wildlife with the nodding onion. Like I said, the bumblebees and the pollinators love this plant. And what's really cool about this plant and probably like the coolest, you know, like individualistic thing about the nodding onion is that if you, if uh, the pollinators are gonna use the plant, they have to be able to hang upside down. And I have tons of photos and videos of that, so I'm hoping to get those up on the screen as well. But yeah, they hang upside down. The bumblebees even sleep upside down <laughs> on the nodding onion flowers, which is so cute. The plant is also a host plant to the hair streak butterfly. And then something that I haven't experienced, um, but I read that bear bears or squirrels will like dig up the onion um, because there is a bulb like an onion it's a sm smaller and they will eat that so the squirrels luckily because i have like three billion squirrels in my yard but luckily they haven't gone after my nodding onion bulbs which is great and i don't have any bear yet so <laughs> i can't speak i can't speak to that okay guys so that's pretty much it um, that I have as far as the nodding onion goes. I really hope that some of this information may have inspired you to go out, get a plant or get seeds and try them in your landscape as well. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Just really a beautiful and fun plant to have and to photograph. And also some people eat the leaves like chives. I'm considering trying it, but you all do your own research. I've read some conflicting information. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again next time.